What is the acceleration of this sphere down the inclined plane? Other than the force of gravity, we also have two forces that are acting this way and their line of action is a distance r from the center. The angle of the inclined plane is 30 degrees and we can even take g to be 10 meters per second squared. Another crucial condition for this problem is that this sphere is rolling without slipping. For these problems, it is very useful to consider Newton's second law, both in the rotational world and in the center of mass translational world. We're going to start off with the center of mass. Well, what forces will be acting on this center? We're going to have a component of gravity, which is kind of like acting along, shall we just take a different pen? So gravity is acting down here. And this can be represented by a component along the plane which will just be given by mg sine theta. So mg sine theta. And then though, if we have rolling without slipping, this is absolutely impossible without the presence of friction. For instance, a car trying to move off a pure ice, it will just be spinning, but it won't actually be rolling across the road. So this part of the question is actually a clue that there needs to be a frictional force that is acting along here. I'm going to call that F. So mg sine theta take away F will just be given by M times the acceleration. Because the numbers here are so delightfully simple, we can just say that this is equal to 1 times 10 times sine of 30, which is just a half. Take away F will be given by the acceleration, i.e. 5 minus F is equal to A. Okay, we're done with the center of mass world. Now let's step into the rotational world. So the sum of all torques will actually be equal to the moment of inertia times the angular acceleration. Now, what are all the torques that are acting on this? First of all, we have the frictional force, which is acting at a distance of one meter from the axis of rotation. So the torque that is going to produce will just be equal to F, well, times one. Then in the opposite direction, so remember the frictional force is trying to spin it this way and those two guys are trying to spin it the other way, we have those two torques which are going to be 1 times 0.5, this one here is 1 times 0.5, so that's going to be an overall 1 newton meter of torque. We're going to set that equal to the moment of inertia of a sphere, which is just equal to 2,5 mr squared. Hang on a minute, the mass is just 1 kilogram, the radius of the sphere is just 1, so this whole thing here will just vanish. Multiply by the angular acceleration, but remember, because v is equal to omega r, are. You can also extend this for the tangential acceleration and its relationship to the angular acceleration, meaning that the angular acceleration is just A over R. However, in this case, our radius in terms of the uh, rotation of the sphere, let's call this capital R actually just to be consistent, is just equal to 1. So alpha will just be A over 1 i.e. just a. But hang on a minute, if only we had an equation for f in terms of a. Oh wait, of course we do. Let's plug this back into here. Therefore, a will be 20 over 7 meters per second squared. Now, this problem actually reminded me of a great problem from the Bulgarian Physics Olympiad that will really help you understand the dynamics of rolling without slipping and how it actually works. And you need to check this one out right over here.